Hey everybody, this is Charlene with Cheryl's Crafty World.com, a real store. Today I am coming to you with What Not Wednesday. And I'm telling you guys, I'm going to have to start spacing these way out because I have not been buying a whole lot from What Not. Um, I don't need a whole warehouse in my house. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I wanted to share with you some of the things, some great deals that I found. So again, I went back to my girl. Maria Miscellany, who also has a YouTube channel, and I purchased some more trims. You guys have seen these. Now, remember I talked about these here? Let me tell you what. Well, let me just give you an overview of what I bought. Some heart trims and some flower trims in different colors. She packaged them so nicely in this bag, so I'm not going to take them out. But remember when I was telling you all about these? These are like little trim, little circles. They have roses on them. And I was like, you know what? I can take that, put a bell on it, put it on a tiny um, lobster claw class, and that would be a thank you gift for, for people to place orders with me, right? So I went and I ran over to the Amazon, and I was able to pick up some clear bells. That's what these are. Little plastic clear bells. There's 400 in there. And so that's going to help me do that project. So I wanted to share that with you. And thank you, Maria, for all this wonderful trim. Bob, can you take this so I have some room on the table? Just take the whole bag. Thank you. So here we got a whole box of goodness, y'all. Let's go through it here. Okay. I'm going to try and remember where I got stuff from. But um, I had picked up some gold spacers. Look how pretty and ornate those are. Um, these didn't come from whatnot. These came from Amazon because um, when I'm doing my beading, is um, I saw a lady she had them all separated out in little shot glasses. I was like, oh my goodness, that's an awesome idea. So I went and grabbed some of that. Let's see, we got some ribbon here, so trendy ribbon. Um, oh, I like this. Got like I don't know if you can see, it's got like diamond pattern on there. That's pretty cool. Of course I like it. I bought it. <laughs> um, there is a seller on what I call Buzz Collective. And she sells these um, leather like uh, band straps, I guess you can call them. Um, but she also sells... Oh, here's one. If you can see what it is. I bought a bunch of them from her. She was selling them. But she also sells these, I call them watch plates or bracelet plates, but they're really like, they're, you know, the, when you have a plate, I don't know what they call these, you know, the different plates for the bracelets. And what you do is you, that's why I bought the leather bands, because then you put the plates on the leather bands, you decorate it, and you have a bracelet, so bought a bunch of those from her they all have all kind of different sayings i have a couple over here that i kept out so i can show you those because i wanted to make them for mother's day um there's this one that says um this above all else to dine or self be true right from william shakespeare um this one says awake my soul and then this one says, uh, above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. Proverbs 428. So I kept those out to make something for Mother's Day. Um, for Mother's Day sale. So you'll see those in the dot com as well. Let me pull over this part here. They come in many different colors. I got the yellow, a gray, a purple, a green. So cool, so cool. Okay. Next up, I got. Let me pull this Remember, I told y'all about the tiny lobster claw class to put those um, embellishments on. So there you go. Got those. Oh, there's another another bracelet. And I picked up some butterfly. Are these beads? I don't know if these are beads or not. 
Yeah, they are. The hole is real tiny. So, um, picked up some butterflies. Y'all know I'm working on a butterfly, um, junk journal. So, picked up these beads. Tiger eye. Chunky, chunky. Chunky monkeys. I think this is hematite. But I like, I like the twist of it. So, those are pretty cool. And here's some more. These are tiger eye, like, I don't know, chunks. <laughs> They're a little bigger than the other ones. And then I also got some more butterflies. And then I, I always buy these. I love these, the flat ones. You can use them, a few of them in a bracelet, or you can use that as your accent bead. So I bought two strands of those. Um, I don't remember what stone it is. I apologize, but it's really cool. Okay. Oh, I also got these. These are gorge. Oh, my goodness. I didn't know that they would be as pretty as they are, but they are gorgeous. I hope my lighting is good. So, I like two beads. It's different. Now, something you see every day. Okay. Um, another uh, lady on whatnot called Red Rock Creation. She was selling some lace and she was doing buy one get one. So I bought some lace from her. I always get always get white lace when you can because you can always spray it and or paint it any color that you need it to be. And then there was a guy on there that was selling some stuff that I think he got from an estate or whatever. So I picked up some things he had here some a set of bales. Um some flowers with the bling in the middle. Uh, let's see what else we got here. These are some type of bar or connectors. Really pretty. Um, this is, oh, I remember this watch. There was a fight over these. There really was. Because what you do is you put the big hole beads on either side of the watch. And you have like a Pandora. A Pandora-ish piece of jewelry with a watch in the middle. How cool is that? How cool is that? Okay. I've never seen those before. Oh, always need bags. Always these look like dime bags. Always need bags. And then he was selling just the bracelet itself. And I have some of these too. Um, they sell them in bulk on Amazon called Snakeskin Bracelet. Because you know the other word is um is uh copyrighted. Then I picked these up. What are these? Split rings. Oh, like key rings. Okay. I was like, what are these? <laughs> and then see, here we go. These are the beads that you would put on the watch. So can you imagine? Let me just pull that up so y'all can so y'all can get a visual. Could you imagine? Look at that. Oh, that would look so vintage and so pretty. I can't wait. Here's some more. These are nice, too. So you got to get the big hole beads. And you can get them anywhere. But what if silver is not your thing? Maybe you want some color and you want pink. So we got pink, too. Let's see what else we got here. Um... He had these he was selling. Always need alphabet. Oh, but wait, there's some more big hole beads. You know who has these really nice ones? Um, Joann's. When they had the Hilti and Joe on sale, they have nice big hole beads. And then he had <clears throat> this pack of um, jump rings. It says 48 piece. I think it's 48 piece per package. But he just sold the whole shish boom ba. That's fine with me. Um, here, I was telling you they sell them. Sell more of those. This is a two-piece pack. And this says Mix and Mingle. I don't know what brand or Doris. Okay. And there's a few more items back here. Bob, can you assist me, please? Certainly. If you could just tilt the box. and I, I can do that. Show them the rest of the stuff here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Thank you. 
I got it. Thank you. Okay, and then yeah, another bracelet. So I got that's like four bracelets so far. And then I also picked these up. I don't know what I thought. Oh, there was a lot of people that thought of ideas to do with these. One lady said use them for gnome noses, which I thought was a cute idea if you were gonna make your own gnomes. But you can do all kind of things. I got them because I'm gonna use them as feet for my cigar boxes. Because I have a bunch of cigar boxes, like 30 of them, that I need to start crafting. They've been sitting and waiting for me to get to them. So this is my haul from Whatnot. I will leave a list of the sellers I bought from um, in the description. And uh, if this is your first time coming to Cheryl's Crafty World, welcome. We we'll hope you want to become part of our dot-com crafty family. And if you're already part of my crafty family, hey girl, hey, hey guy, hey, this is Shirlene, and we're happy that you are part of our crafty family. Now, I save the best for last because I bought me something. I got me a, I believe it's about 32 ounces. It is studded. Okay, first of all, let's just talk about the elephant in the room. It's purple! <laughs> yes! Okay, and it's studded, right? And, and the middle was blank. And she was like, we'll engrave it with whatever you want. I said, well, either put a cross on there or blessed. She put both on there for me. It got good. Look at this. Hunty, when I tell you it was Christmas when I saw this. It just, the pictures did not do it justice. So this is, I guess you could say this is Mother's Day for me to me. But I said that about my purse that I bought. But this I love. This is going to be me a long time. So I wanted to share that with y'all. Thank you, Mr. Bob, for reminding me. Because I was so excited. I almost forgot to, sh to show y'all. So I will have something pretty to drink out of. While I'm doing all of my craft crafting. Because I am going to be pumping stuff out the rest of the year. Um, because I want to make time for travel and so forth. And yeah, I'm excited. That's why I said you probably won't see me doing too much more shopping. I need to just utilize what I have and start sell, 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 sell. All right. We'll talk to you soon. This is Shirlene with Cheryl's Crafty World. Dot com. Bye for now.